Hey friends, Randon here and welcome to part two of me trying to get this Maslow thing to work. Now I want to point out that it's not the Maslow's fault that it's not working, it's my fault for being an idiot not knowing how to use it. So, although I'm going to blame some on the router because it kind of sucks. Well the router doesn't suck, but this whole Z thing is a little hokey. But hopefully we can get it fixed here. So, we're going to do three things and hopefully that will solve all our problems. Uh, one, we're going to countersink these holes a little bit. Hopefully it'll be strong enough still with whatever's left in the wood. Two, we're going to figure out how to solve this problem with the chains. Either shorten them or just tie them off. And then three, we're going to see about trying to upgrade the z-axis just a little bit until the parts come in to do the full-on fix. So stay tuned. We'll go. All right, so we got it way down as far as it'll ever go. And you can see there's a good foot and a half or so of chain. So I'm thinking if I pull that all the way over, uh, it should help when it's at the extreme like this, or when it's up rather, how the chain was all saggy, it should hope hopefully pull it tight. So we're gonna do that on both sides here and see what happens. All right, well, I tied that one off, moved it to the other side, and as you can see, that problem is fixed. All right, well, we got that side fixed, and unfortunately, the only chain tool I have is for my bike, and this chain is too small to use it. All right, well, that worked rather well. So we'll do the other side and start on the z-axis. Well, did I mention how much I dislike spade bits? That one's in there too. So no more bolt rubbing. All right, let's get started on the z-axis here. All right, well, we got this apart working on the z-axis here. So you can see there's this little ridge in here that there's a a doink on the router that runs in there to keep it straight and I f you can see I kind of filed it down a little bit but there was a right there you might be able to see the dark spot a little ridge there that was like an artifact of the casting or whatever process they used to make this so it was going down and when that that doink got there it was stopping and getting stuck which I think was what was causing it to pop out so now that I filed it down, let's see. Oh yeah, nice and buttery smooth. So actually, that right there is probably enough to fix the problem. But we are going to do something to this, which is the little thing that pushes it up and down. So, be right back. All right, we're gonna do two things. So this is the little screw that sits in here and drives it up and down. And when you look at it, there's a little bit of play. So if you put one of these washers on top of it and then stick it back in there, it more or less eliminates that play. So we're gonna do that and we're also going to JB Weld, hopefully, this little bushing here, it's called a bushing, bearing, whatever it is, to this, which is the, the mechanism which hooks onto this screw, which drives it up and down. And this goes into the thing, in the notch in the router. So, uh, the, the theory is that this kind of, it doesn't have any, you know, anything to keep it from wobbling, so that's a little play. So if you glue that on there, it keeps it straight, er, and should solve that problem, make it a little more accurate. So we're going to do that and hope for the best, I guess, uh, until I order the parts to do a meticulous, well, not meticulous, it's one of the 3D printed Z-axes uh, from China, I guess. The little slider thing comes and it's going to take it like till July, so. Depending on how long this video takes to get up, it is currently April 28th, and it said 
about July 15th. So that sucks. All right, let's do this. Right, well, that's done. Hopefully I got them lined up correctly. Should have got a dowel or something to put in there. Um, I also got, here it is, graphite to kind of lube up that spring when we get done. Hopefully that, all this will help and it'll fix that problem we were having. So through the magic of editing, it's tomorrow night. Well, this worked pretty well. Had to drill it out, smooth things out because they weren't quite aligned, right? Uh, got it all together, put this on like it said to, and when I tried to put my clip on here, it broke because it was holding it up to where just about half that thing was in there and I didn't push very hard and it just cracked in half. I was only able to find part of it, so I guess now I'm gonna have to go try and find another clip. So that sucks. Well, we went to Lowe's, dug through their incredibly disorganized mess and found another clip. So she's back on, she seems to be moving okay. So let's put it back the rest of the way together, I guess. Put some graphite on there, too. All right, well, we got it in there. And I think it's working. Though this seems to significantly limit your travel ability. I don't know if I put it on the wrong side or what, but... Uh, I guess it seems to be going up and down smooth now. So we're gonna, I guess, cut this test pattern and see what happens. Make sure you put your kit on. pretty good. You see it's barely any indent there and it is you can see it cut off a little my marker here but that's because it wasn't moving so I pushed it and it went in but not bad it came back to almost the same spot. That's probably me racking it pushing the thing in but it worked good. It worked fine that time so I think we fixed the problem. So I look forward to making my first cuts and stick with me and we'll do some fun stuff. Thanks for watching. Keep it real. We'll see you next time. Peace out.